Hi folks, Bob Collins for the Divers Channel. So you've bought your snorkeling or dive gear and you're wondering what kind of bag you should put it in. We're going to take a look at those in just a second. We're going to walk through some of the different bags, take a closer look on some of them to give you some good idea as to what type bags are out there. Now in this top row you see, and by the way, the bags you see are just a fraction of the bags that are available through the Divers Supply website. Up here on top, these first few, these are duffels. Now the nice thing about duffels, they come in various and sundry sizes, but usually they're the largest sizes. And what you'll see is they're top, usually top loading and it's easy to get a full set of dive gear in there. Fins, masks, booty, snorkels, wetsuit, you know, regulator, computer, everything in there. So usually the duffels give you the greatest capacity. Now, they can either be made of all mesh, and mesh tends to be uh, the most popular type material out there. It allows the, the moisture to escape. And you want to be careful about putting your equipment damp in an enclosed bag because you're going to have some mildew build up if you're not careful. Now up here also, the next three up there that we see, these are backpacks. And of course down here on the bottom row, we've got some backpacks also from the different brands and, and uh, different types. Now backpacks have become very, very popular makes it easy to carry your equipment. They tend to be a little smaller, but some of them are, are relatively large, but most of them are smaller. And remember, you're gonna have to top load those. So it can be a little more difficult to find something or get something out of the very bottom of your, of your bag on the backpacks. But they're very popular, like I was just saying. In addition, up here on the very top, we actually have uh, some snorkeling bags that you see here in the corner, like the yellow one. Now, this yellow one is pretty cool because it actually comes with a towel, which is kind of nice, but it's really made for snorkeling type fins, uh, mask, uh, snorkel, things like that. So you have just a nice compact uh, unit. Not really good for scuba equipment per se. Now over here we also have, you see in this group with the red, uh, red and white dive flag, those are regulator bags. Now regulator bags are really good. You got a lot of money invested in your regulators. So regulator bags are nice to, you know, protect your reg. You can put your reg in there, close it up and actually put it into your duffel to help protect it. And of course, there's different levels and qualities of red, reg bags, just like any of these other bags. So I'm gonna show you one here that actually has a nice interior. There's a lot of storage actually. It has another little bag inside of it. And then there's just the, the standard reg bags, like you see this black and red one, uh, red and white one up there that you can use that's lesser expensive. We also have, some uh, dry bags, so maybe you want to put your um, maybe your personal things like your billfold, your cell phone, some things like that in a, a little dry bag, and your dry bag can stay in your kit bag also. A lot of guys call their scuba equipment bags their kit bags, so you may hear that term out there. And there's a, a little uh, bag over there that's uh, really watertight and uh, is very, very beneficial too. So, in, if you would like, there's even some larger bags like this one that I've got my hand on here, and these actually have wheels on them. And wheels make it nice. You're not having to, you know, carry your equipment if you've got a pretty good load of gear from your vehicle over to the dive boat. You're able to just roll it along and put it on, just like uh, when you take your roller to the airport. That gives you a good look at some of the different dive bags and bags you have available for your scuba or your snorkeling equipment. 
Again, if you like the information that we put out, please hit that uh, like button down there. And of course, in the comment section, I'm gonna put a, a link over to the diver supply uh, bag section. So you can go in and look at all the different bags. And if you have a specific bag you would like for us to look at, uh, we'll be glad to try to do a video on it. If you put your comments down there below, we always read those. And if we can do anything for you, call one of our divers on our 800 number. That will be listed below also. So thanks for your time. Appreciate you watching and see you again soon.